Live on KPRC-TV and the KPRC2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. She was my baby. She was my life. You can just hear the heartbreak in that mother's voice. Her daughter murdered by her own husband on Christmas Day, then the man taking his own life while their three kids were in the same home. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Devin Clark. Keith and Daniela have the night off. KPRC2 first brought you this as breaking news. And tonight, we now know the mother is 34-year-old Fanny Uresti, her mother fighting through tears to share Fanny's story. She spoke with KPRC2's Gage Goulding. And Gage, the most heartbreaking part of this story is that the three children were in the home while all of this happened. Yeah, Devin, all three of those kids were home, the oldest being 14, the youngest just six years old. And I'm told that the teenager actually witnessed her father shoot and kill her mother. It's just an absolutely heartbreaking story here. Now, I spoke with their grandmother this evening, and as you said, fighting back tears. It's an emotional story, but she felt the need to share her daughter's story to potentially help somebody else that might be dealing with domestic violence. My heart no longer beats. I don't feel my heart beating anymore. They took her away from me in a way that was, you can say, cowardly. Strong words from an even stronger mother who's left broken after her daughter was murdered on Christmas Day. I just wanted to die. I wanted to die. 34-year-old Fanny Oresti found dead inside her Gracilla Drive home in southwest Houston. Her husband, 43-year-old Roberto Hernandez, also dead in an apparent murder-suicide. Inside the home with them, their three children, the oldest witnessing the brutal murder of her own mother. With this thing he did to my daughter, they took my heart away. I want them to know I am hollow. Was there ever a red flag that said something's wrong here? Still a week before the incident, they had an argument. I wasn't there. I was in Mexico. He had a gun that his brother gave him to protect the house. He took it out. He took it out threatening himself. But before that, Rosa said her daughter's husband was obsessive over her, a sign she wishes Fanny would have seen sooner. I want to raise my voice on behalf of my daughter so that the other women who are going through the same thing are aware and immediately leave the place where they are. And there is help. The Texas Attorney General offers a crime victim's compensation fund, one that can help domestic violence victims before it's too late. Not only there's a death, but if they need to get relocated, what have you. Rosa is eligible for up to $6,500 to help cover her daughter's funeral, a task Rosa never thought she'd be dealing with as her daughter was just getting her life started. If you could talk to your daughter one last time, what would you say to her? I would tell her that I love her with all my heart. I would say that I love her with all my heart. She was my baby. She was my life. Now what makes this even more difficult for Rosa is that she was in Mexico when all of this happened. Police turning those three children over to Roberto's family. Rosa now starting the lengthy process to try to get her grandkids back into her home and back into her life. She shared this story tonight to share that there are people out there, there are resources out there for anybody that is dealing with domestic violence to hopefully curb it before it gets anywhere near this point. There are a lot of resources. If we went through those, we found a variety of terrific resources. Devin, we shared them on our Click to Houston website. All you have to do is go to clicktohouston.com slash break free, and everything is right there for you. I'm reporting live in Southwest Houston. Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. Heartbreaking indeed. Gage, thank you. Houston's mayor